This shouldn't be that far of a run. Hold on to your and... This ride is about to get ugly. No, no, you're going the exact opposite of what I'm trying to say. All right, I think uh, I, I should probably use the bridge. I don't know if actually crossing the water is going to kill me or not. I mean, maybe we should try it. Why not? You know what? Screw it. Let's try it. We're going to try crossing the water. And if we die, we die. And if we live, then we know we can cross any kind of water. Most, most kinds of water. The unirradiated water. Which is interesting to think about considering, you know, you think of like Fallout, for example, as a franchise. And you think of the water and you're like, oh, totally. Well, well that answers that question. And you're like, I totally can't cross that because... 99% of the time the water is irradiated and going in it is going to get you rads then you have to clear those rads it's kind of annoying so it's easier just to like you know unless you're really making a quick stop it's easier just to jump across uh, through a bridge and whatnot but this apparently just straight up has a wall around the water so like that answers that question I suppose can't loot these guys yet. Are you guys okay? You guys are screaming like crazy. Jeez. And da, 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 da. Can't loot that one. I think what we determined before was that physical damage works really well against beasties. So I'm gonna try this gun out for these guys. Hey, it's the twins. Surprised you two needed backup. What? Oh, is there someone over here? Oh, hi. The twins, huh? August Van Noy, May Van Noy. Okay, well, the Van Noy's seem fine. Neoka, you're a sight right now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? Yeah, I know, I know, but that's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now. Uh... Let's see here. <clears throat> Graham actually sent me to secure the press. If you guys are going after the printing press, then yeah, I'm here to help. Azora sent me to look for you guys. Once you, I get you out safe, I'll see about the press. Let's do that one. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. But we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out and Jensen can't see straight. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Okay, any idea where he went? Yeah, on account of giving him the order. <laughs> He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. Okay, um, I will go look for him. Which, where did that, the old settlement, so I guess that that's just north over there. Well, hopefully they cleared a lot of this out. It looks like they did, it's a bunch of just raptodons. Um, that, I suppose, is the printing press. This gun is very satisfying to use. I smite you, in the name of the law. you smite him with Pinky, your new shotgun. <laughs> guy's super dead. Oh, here comes some more. Let's go ahead and um, get them to kill that one. Here. This, this gun, you know what? I like it. This gun works really well. Let's heal up. Get Vicar back up. Mioka is like super dead. Your confession now. The acid damage is really annoying. Especially the fact that, yeah, we're less resistant to it. Oh, Vicar's now down, so now it's my job. Clear these nerds. Thankfully, they were almost dead. Ah, I did all that. You nerds did nothing. There's nothing here. That's fine. I'll we'll pick that up. What does this area look like? That's the printing press, I'm supposing. And if I do the printing press first, I bet you I come out and they're dead. It's like a time thing where if you if you finish the quest, like an if and statement, you know, if if the quest is finished and you speak to them, then the people automatically die. Never and then, a man of the cloth. Shotgun. So cool. That Colossus is like going ham and has actually killed him. Or her? Killed Nyoka. Shoot him in the face. 
Just keep shooting him in the face. My goodness. Okay. Wow. That was, uh, all right, Vicar. Let's get Vicar. Oh, I was like pretty solid on health. I don't know why I died there. That was really kind of annoying. That, that, that sucks. Okay. Well, let's try that again. Now that we know that there's a bunch of guys there. I will try a different strategy. Oh, oh, apparently I have to kill all these guys again. Good to know, I suppose. Yeah, shot him right in the butt. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I am super gonna die. Shoot, please. All right, that's good. Still got another one over here spitting at me. Spitters are really annoying. All right, this time they all didn't just like die. So that went a little bit better. Still not the best. I am going to save before I try to kill all these. I think that's the smart thing to do. Um, the Colossus is like gonna, s oh, there's two Colossi. Colossuses? <laughs> it's, the, it's the plural of Colossus. Can I even get up here? Or is this, is this invisible walled? Uh, you know what? It is invisible walled, which sucks. All right. Let's see here. If, if we go to our codex and we look at uh, do, 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 basics, weapons and armor, Inway, Inray, uh, pristine items, science weapons, tinkering, which one is which? Here, let's look at combat, maybe? Damage types? Physical, weak against armor. Plasma, good against flesh, weak against mantisaurs. Corrosion, good against armor, including auto mechanicals, mantisaurs, and heavy armor. Okay. Shock, good against auto mechanicals. And Enray bypasses armor, weak against non organic entities. I feel like plasma may be good here. So which of our weapons is plasma? It's the third one, which is the really annoying kind of, yeah. Okay. Well, let's, let's see if this has a better effect. We're going to quick save and, uh, there's a bunch of marauders there. I kind of want to hit a marauder before I hit a Colossus. I'll hit the spitter. Here we go. Hit that heal right away. You know, it is doing like a lot of damage, right? And the fact of the matter is they are, oh, let's get, let's get them attacking these. Freaking Vickers like in the middle of everything. Just getting them to attack stuff, get them to stun stuff. That Colossus is going ham. They're both dead. I am next because there is a ton of these things. Oh my goodness. Run. <laughs> okay, that works. How is that Colossus not dead? All right, I'm using the dodge. Ah, this is bad. Heal. Let's get back over here. I wish I could like resurrect my guys. I'm stuck in that box. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think we got this. Where'd they go? Come on, come here, Colossus. What's he doing? Is he coming at me? Oh, oh, he's just spitting at me. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blinded him, and then he should die to the burning. Oh goodness. The fact that we did that is a miracle. Ooh, Raptophobia. Repeated encounters of Raptodons that lessened your effectiveness when they're attacking you or your companions. So I get, um, wait, it has lessened your effectiveness, right? Okay. I get minus one dexterity, minus one perception, and minus one temperament. I mean, how often am I gonna find more Raptodons? It's a good question. For a perk point, you know what? I'm gonna do it. We get tier three now too. So see 50% weapon or science weapon damage, 30% damage while under 25% health headshots 
Headshot kills deal 25% of the damage to enemies within two and a half meters. That's cool. Steady hand. After killing an enemy, your weapon sway and accuracy penalties while moving are reduced to zero for a short time. 100% ranged weapon sway and 100% movement penalty to accuracy. Confidence. There's something about blood and violence that helps you focus. Uh -huh. That's not disturbing at all. Your next attack after killing an enemy is guaranteed to land a critical hit. I don't feel like this is super great. Um, because it doesn't, ha like, like, I kill a lot of things, obviously. But I don't feel like I'm getting that effect enough. And, and the, a critical hit doesn't seem to, it, like, I get a lot of critical hits, so what's the point? I, like, that doesn't seem super strong. When you use your inhaler, any down companions are revived with a small amount of health. Yes, please. I'm getting that. I'm going to look at the other ones real quick, though. Increase the armor rating and skill bonuses from any armor you wear. Your ranged attacks reduce the target's armor rating by one point per hit. This effect lasts a short time and it can stack multiple times. Um, that's pretty good for if you're using like a quicker weapon, like a, like a burst weapon or whatnot. Further increases your maximum carrying capacity. All area of effect and plasma damage dealt to you is reduced. When you activate tactical time dilation, you're, you continue to move at normal speed for a short time. This effect only occurs when your TTD meter is full at time of uh, activation. 70% movement speed. No, that's not bad. Whenever you are affected by a harmful combat effect, you deal increased damage. That's pretty good. Reduce the de detection radius of enemies when you have no companions in your party. Well, we're doing the revive. Don't go dying on me. That's really good. I think, um, all in all, that's like one of the best that we could get. I didn't even know that that was a thing. And the fact that I, I was just complaining, uh, like I want to be able to resurrect them. That's super duper helpful. Oh, well, let's loot that. It actually may have been their medic. Maybe. There's like some kind of, um, trauma pack is what I'm looking for. Well, I'm going to loot all of this first. Then I'll look for said trauma pack. Yeah. We get all of that stuff. We get those, that. Nothing in the bin. Bunches of ammo. Um, we'll get those and that. And oh, there he is. Well, I got it. Wait, wait a second. That that didn't say what I thought it did, did it? Trauma kit. Printing parts. I thought I saw like euthanasia kit. Is what is what I thought it said? Maybe it was a trauma kit. Maybe I'm crazy and I just read that wrong. Curious. Uh, ooh, let's get that wrapped on hide for sure. And I had killed a couple things over here, like this guy, like that, and this guy. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we'll fix them up. Go get us a printing press. Move on with our lives. Hello. Any luck out there? I found your trauma kit. The medic is dead. Oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. Right. So, I did the optional thing. Now, here's the thing. Is this going to, like, affect this quest a significant way? Is this going to be so difficult on the inside? I mean, I'm about to level, but is this about to be so difficult that I'm going to have a really hard time in here? And I needed them? Or is this one of those things that... You really should help them because otherwise the other people are, or the, you know, you're going to split the two sides even more. But if I come back and I'm like, I finished everything, are they going to be like, yay, congratulations. We, we like each other now. Man, there's our level up. Right, let's go ahead and do that. Now, here's the thing. I could get my pistols to 80 debuffed enemy critical chance plus 20%. Plus I get all the extra crit chance and damage and everything. Like that's really, really good. But... And here's the big but. Our science um, and our... See, I want my science at 60. I also want my lock picking up. Lock picking has been really kind of screwing us at the moment. Uh, I think... Um, I mean, there's just like things that I'm starting to run into that I can't lock pick. So it's like, do I wait another level and then get this stuff up? Maybe. Or do I just put all my points into handguns? And get the benefit of that. Who knows? I think stealth, though. Stealth is going to be my thing. 
Um, I get, you know, if I get this up to 60, I get crouch movement speed up. I get my lock picking up. I only need to put seven points in to get the lock picking. So those are both at 50 now. Which means I get, do, 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 do. I don't get anything off of these, but it is up to 50 now. And I could use the last three points to put them into sneak and then just, you know, flatline these all at 50, which actually may not be a bad idea. Um, yeah, I don't know. I could also just put three points into handguns. It's not going to quite get me there to 80, but it may be worth it. This is a tough choice. I, you know, and defensive stuff, honestly, I think, uh, I think having some defense might be pretty good. <laughs> we're, we're getting kind of hammered. Leadership maybe might be pretty good to throw points into companion skill bonus to player skills. That's pretty good. Um, determination. I can get their damage and stuff up. It's tough. It's a tough choice. I think we just put the three points into sneak. And we say, you know, those are at 50. That will be good for at least a few levels. Um, oh, of course, until I get to the point where I need another. So I have another perk point to put in. I think anything that is going to either keep me alive longer or make me deal more damage is going to be ideal here. So like uh, dealing increased damage when I'm affected by a harmful effect is really, really good. Um, tip for tat is really good if I'm doing melee, but I'm not doing melee. So all area of effect and plasma damage dealt to you is reduced. That's also really good. Range attack reduced tar target's armor rating. That's good. It's tough. Headshot kills explode to damaging nearby enemies. I think that's funny. Ranged weapon damage sway. Eh. I don't know. This is a tough one. It's, it's one of those decisions that I could take any of these and feel pretty okay with it. There was the increased armor rating bonus, which I probably will go with. Increased armor rating and skill bonuses from any armor you wear. An extra 10% armor is really good. Uh, especially in light of the fact that, you know what, I am taking a lot of damage. Examine safety announcement draft. A draft of different safety announcements from when the press was still operational. Most of them have been crossed out. Safety guards are there to guard your safety. Replacement limbs are no replacement at all. Let's convey safety standards around our conveyor. Don't be a fool around the spools. <laughs> Funny. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. I'm going to repair all because I should. Um, boom. I don't want to tinker. Modifying these is it's okay. I mean, I could modify this LMG. Maybe I should. Let's let's put a. Do, 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 do. I don't want to. I don't want to change the weapon damage on this, but I do want to increase the magazine size. So let's do that one. And let's decrease the noise. And then that is what that weapon. All right. Yep. No, that's a different weapon. Which one did I just modify? I thought I just modified the weapon that I had installed. Oh, you know what? You know what I did? I I'm, I think I modified one of theirs. Nope, apparently not. Which which weapon did I just modify? Maybe it was hers. It was. Okay, well, neoka has got different. Whatever. Oop, wrong button. Um, let's stick with our plasma and see if that helps with the raptodons. And all these guys are super dead. Oh, there is a thing there. Let's go into here. We're going to do sneaky sneaky. Oh, hi, raptodons. See, I got to remember that. I'm, I'm not as good against them anymore. You know what? I don't know if the plasma is doing it for me. I feel like this weapon fires a bit faster and just does a significant more amount of damage to them. Like the plasma burn is really cool, but I'm not, they're not living long enough to be affected by that damage over time effect too much. So I think I'm better off not doing that. Also, see what I mean? Like if I was at 55, I'd be able to unlock that, but I totally can't. And on top of that, I don't have the skill high enough to even see what's in it. And that's even more tantalizing, I'll tell you what. Ooh, there's a lot of raptodons here. I think what I do is I come up here. Hopefully they don't see me. 
I got my pair of cuts. Then I can funnel them into one spot where their numbers mean nothing. All right, bring it on, buddy. I know you're coming up. Whoa, geez, he like really came up here fast. Uh, is that guy still alive? Why, why are you not? Yep. There we go. Oh, Vicar. Here, I can get him up now, so I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna heal myself. Notice how I did a little jumpy poo? Because now they're forced to come down here. And we'll hit him with a C. And then we're gonna hit it with a V. I've had quite enough of you. <laughs> Just like right in the side. Ah, oh, my kidney. Right, there's another one coming down. Maybe the uh, guaranteed critical hit would be really good if you were using like a marksman rifle and you were trying to do like big burst damage on a single shot. But with, with the weapons that we've chosen to go with, it doesn't feel the greatest, does it? Because we just attack so fast that a single crit in a string of attacks is kind of a drop in the bucket. Especially because we are doing quite a bit of critical damage as it is. Like, you know, we, we, we have a lot of critical attacks that end up happening. Uh, I'm going to loot a bunch of this armor stuff. I did pick up a new helmet that I want to check out in a minute here. Um, do I want to go upstairs or downstairs? Let's check up here. It's barred. Of course it is. Let's check out that helmet real quick. Uh, armor. Pick that one up. 29, which is similar to the one I got. Uh, Nyoka is using a different helmet. She's using a 43. It's kind of crazy how much better those are. And I don't think he's using anything super strong. He's using 24. So let's switch him out to a 29. He looks hideous. And I love it. All right, we'll, we'll hope for the best here. Which uh, weapon type is this? Which damage type? Inventory, weapons. This is shock, which isn't the greatest versus these guys. Hello, Marauders. Maulers, rather. You see what I mean? Like, this weapon, I just unloaded an entire clip, and it, it killed it with a clip, but that was for magazine. It was just not, it was not enough. Not enough. It was just, it didn't work for me. I'll leave all that stuff. I will pick up that shotgun and a bit of the ammo. As long as I'm picking up ammo here and there, we tend to be okay. I just don't need to put all of my eggs into one basket. Unlock that, so that's now open. And of course, gonna loot all of this. Unlock this. Hopefully, get something good. Standard troop armor. You know what, um, Vicar, buddy, I think this is good for you. Determination plus seven. I think it's gonna look better at the very least. <laughs> so let's do that. What was hers? Her armor is 32. Yeah, hers is fine. And let's use this. Printer is currently inoperable. Run diagnostics. Diagnostic result faulty rollers. Consult your nearest printing engineer. Um, <clears throat> installed it. New equipment detected. System must restart for alignment. Please wait. System restarted. Equipment alignment successful. Press number, s or press number six is now operational. Okay, I see. What's back here? Back room? Got anything good? Mag pick. Take it. Bits. Take it. More bits. Even even more bits. And a computer. This is account of Rodriguez R. Available message one hazard clause. Terry's birthday. Um, Universal Defense Logistics would like to remind employees that, that, it, that it is no way responsible for the highly unfortunate but unrealistic probable case of loss of life in its facilities. Okay, now we are celebrating Terry's birthday. Terry's dead, folks. I know he meant a lot to everyone here, myself included. But let's all uh, un. But his but let his untimely demise be a lesson about safety in the workplace. Don't pet the canids. We're leaving. To all employees of Terra One Publications. Yes, the rumors are true. We're leaving. The board has decided to cut their losses and operate on Terra Two instead. 
In accordance with the evacuation orders, we are to await a shuttle out of Cas Cascadia. Uh, where we get word that our ride, or when we get word that our ride is on the way, we'll shutter, we'll shutter this facility, pack everything up, and lock the door on the way out. Interesting that they would do that. Wouldn't they just pack it all up and then put it in and take it on with them? I don't know. Just leave the facility open. It doesn't really matter. Until then, however, we are expected to continue working. I'm sure reassignments are forthcoming, but that's not an excuse to slow down. We still have magazines to publish, people. Our customers are eager to find out what happens in Dissident Hunter number 112. Is this a magazine factory or comic book factory? Halcyon's ref uh, Referendum number 207, Terra 1 Hazard Clause. Halcyon Holdings Corporate Board, Public Notice 117 on the issue of Hazard Clause for Terra 1. This notice issue on, issued on January 12th, 2343 serves as the public denouncement of Terra One as a feasible workplace environment due to the hostile and aggressive nature of the wildlife as well as the unsustainability of its natural flora for use in human consumption. The Halcyon Holdings Corporate Board has officially enacted a hazard clause covering the entirety of Terra One. After an evacuation period of no more than six months, Terra One will be officially considered illegal territory. As this is unanimous decision, any corporate or corporation caught operating on Terra One after the evacuation period will face fines and possible dis, uh, disbarment, as defined in Halcyon Code Two Two One. Interesting. It's interesting. it's interesting that they make it illegal to come back here because clearly if you could make it work and they couldn't that's I mean one that's really embarrassing for them and two you're now making money where they should have so it's interesting that they go with the whole it's illegal now why do we always seem to find the bathrooms but yeah you know what it's cool that there's so many bathrooms in this game because it answers the question of where the heck do these people use the body <laughs> because uh you know there's other similar games that maybe aren't as realistic in that uh regard but they they make a you know the level designers make a very normal effort to, to put some bathrooms here and there they do a pretty good job of it Final notice, Shuster C. To whom it concerns, I, Caden Shuster, do hereby declare my official resignation. Delivery services to the Terra 1 printing facility OD2214 shall cease forthwith. During my tenure of service, I have made known numerous complaints regarding the hazardous w hazards of working on this law forsaken rock, including, but not limited to, the infestation of unknown insects in my sinus cavities, resulting in weeks of unpaid leave. The as yet unreimbursed loss of several articles of clothing due to the acidic properties of the local atmosphere. The constant unrelenting aggression of local wildlife. The persistent itching and coughing malady in my lungs, likely due to breathing trace amounts of sulfur. Equality persistent or equally persistent indigestion, a symptom of overall nutritional problems stemming from the fact that I am, in fact, allergic to fish, which is the main diet provided to service workers based in Stellar Bay. I have received the following responses to these complaints, all of which I deemed unacceptable. Number one, at my resulting loss of olfactory senses, I was deemed, quote, lucky to no longer suffer the stench of fish and sulfur. Two, my wardrobe was replaced with uniforms out of Stellar Bay, which suffered the exact same degradation, and I was thus no better off. Number three, at my insistence, I was awarded the service of a local hunter, one N. Ra, whatever, Wentworth, who uh, spent the entire service call inebriated and offending my sensibilities with off colored language. Number four, a thorough medical examination, I was found to be in working health which was deemed more fortunate than many. And number five, my insistence that additional dietary needs be offered, I was instead awarded extra supplies of toilet paper. <laughs> After this latest response, I hereby tell whoever is reading this to go hang themselves and that your replacement rollers, ink carts, uh, belting, binders, keys, stamps, lubricants, and whatever else is in these infernal boxes can all be found rotting in the wilderness. Good day to you. <laughs> well, yeah, at least he stood up to it. You know, he's like, ah, no more. What am I going to find in here? Loot? Oh, hold on, let me pick this stuff up so I don't miss it on my way out. I do, in fact, find loot that I cannot open. I need to get my, my lock picking up to 55. I have, I have come to that break point. So next level, I got to put five points into that. 
So what is this? Shipment status, UDL masks, factory filters, and replacement rollers. I might learn some information in this. Um, to, 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 to whom it may concern, I was taking or talking to one of the guards, and he isn't having trouble breathing at all. In fact, none of our guards have had asthma attacks from the air here. We believe it is because of their gas masks. Masks. I've attached a purchase request for safety equipment for the rest of us. Okay. Um, filters. To whom it may concern, my boss is using olfactory filters to ward off the stench of sulfur from this law for second planet. I've attached a purchase request for a number of filters so that the rest of us don't have to suffer. And replacement filters. Um, according to the manufacturer, your current rollers are capable of ret retaining efficiency in all environments. We have no evidence to support your claim that rollers are degrading because of this <laughs> blocked out air. Uh, they are lasting as long because of sulfur in this air. We need new parts before the, uh, the ones we got break. Our records indicate that our facility is due for replacement parts for another five months or is not due. Um, we will send new parts, including rollers, when that time comes. To whom it may concern, the rollers in our printing press facility are degraded and will break soon. I've attached a purchase order for new ones. Well, it's nice knowing that they were having issues. Maybe that's information I could pass along, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's going to be that relevant. That takes me back outside. Have I looted everything in here? I believe I have. And now that we've uh, secured this facility, we can head back and turn this quest in. Borstwurst. Borst, Borstwurst? It's hard to say. Ooh, it's really bright out here. Ooh, pretty. Should we tell these people that we secured the printing press and they can go home, or have they already left? It appears that they've already made their way back. All right, cool. So we have a quick travel point, which we cannot fish travel at this time. Why not? Oh, because I'm jumping. I see. Funny. Um, we'll head to Amber Heights. We'll turn in this and see what they say. I I just don't want to have it where I turn it in and they all of a sudden are like, here's another quest that you have to do in the area with all of your other quests. Right? Like, I want to be able to get all this done at once. As opposed to uh, doing a whole lot of back and forth. If you'll just listen. No. No more listening. No more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? Uh, if there are gunships, they sure didn't stop me from landing here. And the printing press is all yours. Yeah. Excellent. Did you find the Van Oys? Yes, the Van Oys are on their way back. Thank the Eternal. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. This plan's brilliance is in its subtlety. For the time being, let us cease our activities on the tower, lest we bring premature attention upon us. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Hey, I need to see to the wounded, but drop by the clinic when you can. I want a word. Uh, she might be like, yo... Let's take this guy out. And in which case, I might be like, honestly, I'm not against it. <laughs> he is he is very gung-ho about his plan. And so far, his plan is not working, which obviously doesn't really work for us. We also just got this uh, Apostle armor. I mean, which is 34 armor. What's Nyoka wearing? I believe it was something close to that. 32, yeah. So we can swap that out. Ooh, she's looking nice and cool. Too bad she doesn't have a helmet to match it, because that one that she has is just ridiculous. And I could also... Um, oh, that one is already boosted. Vicar's using the 29 armor one. So the rest of these are kind of okay. Alright. Is she coming? Where's she going? I'm not sure. Um, that quest finished, but she wanted me to come talk to her over here. Do I just wait for her? Is she like gonna come down? Is she okay? She's coming over this way. Yes, go, go there, go that way. Can I talk to her now? <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll what? see. What? Sorry, long day. No, she needs to walk all the way over. The no, go, go ahead. Tell me, cramp your style, woman. I just want your quest. But apparently, you don't want to talk to me until you turn around. And there you go. Okay. Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. 
You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? You're talking about the massacre. Back when the corpse were pulling out, pirates raided the place and killed the MSI bigwigs living here. Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, that nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby wrapped nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. Ah, uh, the random door code doesn't sound useful. Amber Heights gate. Why are we keeping it this to ourselves? I don't get why this is so important. Um, okay, go to the relay station, see if the code's useful, anything else. That seems to be what she's asking. Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. Right, I'm on it. Appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, they'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. <laughs> good luck. Watch out for the taros. All right, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's go back over here and see if he has anything to talk about. Because uh, he may give me a conflicting quest. Greetings, friend. Uh, I have some questions. All right. To do nope okay never mind why have you come I don't I, no go away no <laughs> I want to run away from you what did it say that mantisaurs were bad against um let's go to journal codex it was under combat and damage types physicals weak against armor plasma is good against flesh weak against mantisaurs so don't use my plasma weapon corrosion good against armor including on mechanicals mantisaurs and heavy armor. So my corrosion weapon is fine. Shock, good against auto mechanicals. Don't use it against anything else. And N-Ray, bypasses armor, weak against non-organic entities. So let's go corrosion. Which weapon would that be? That would be this one. This is that burst like pistol that we got. That's fine. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna do some uh, vendoring. In fact, uh, we could just go ahead and add all this stuff to junk gonna make it a lot easier when I just go sell all of it boom and I'll keep all my like other stuff I'll come talk to him hey, thanks again for uh, let's trade with him let's go to sell junk Bam. got rid of a bunch of my inventory got a bunch of bits I'm almost at 30,000 bits you see that I love that that's good all right where on the map is this taking me region oh just off over there Okay, that's fine because like we have a bunch of quests like down this way. So yeah, let's do, okay. I don't want to walk across like the, the area there. So we're going to go back to the quest. I don't think it's this one. Yeah, that's not it. Well, uh, weapons, nope, that's not it. Little memento. Okay, that one's down there. I, I keep doing this, right? I, I'm constantly having to do this back and forth thing with this. No, solution vital. No, okay, that's all back up there. Space crime, that's the next one, I think. Um, I believe that was the only one there. Uh, sucker bait is over there. So that, okay, that's the mission we have to do. The main mission we're on is up over here. Uh, that's back in there. That's way off over there. Way off over there and down over here. So I could do both the empty man and space crime continuum down there. That's fine. Let's do the empty man tracking and then, um, yeah, and then go from there.